Aquarius Activia <laughs> Um It's a beautiful time To be an Aquarian That's for sure And I'm excited for Pluto To be <laughs> shifting From Capricorn To Aquarius Yeah yeah It's gonna be great And I love Aquarians I mean I love everyone But I do love my Aquarians. I was raised by an Aquarian. She taught me some hard work, you know. Um, she taught me how to think outside the box. She taught me how to not half-ass things, you know. She taught me like what different love languages could look like. <coughs> Excuse me. Look at me all professional. <laughs> okay, spirit guys, this is a collective reading for all Aquarians out there. Or if you're looking to look into an Aquarian, you know? If you're looking into an Aquarian, ooh, look at you looking at your Aquarian. <laughs> this could also be a love reading. I really leave it open to all the spirit guides out there. Ancestral fortresses. You know, sometimes I just like to put words together that, you know, yeah. You get it. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on. Oi! Oi! I'm just kidding. Okay, wow. Straight off the bat, we got the Two of Swords and the Tower card in reverse. It's not necessarily bad, okay? Remember, every card has two meanings. Every card has two meanings. But this does look like a really a foundational. <laughs> this looks like a foundational. Um, you know, destruction of foundation, right? Tower card, major shift. Excuse me. Two of swords, right? This could be between two people. This could be between you and a lover, a past lover. It doesn't have to be a love lover. It can just be, you know, how you feel with maybe a cousin. You know, it could be your parents. It could be something like you watch your parents. You could see, you know, your your siblings, your children. You know, maybe some of you Aquarians, you know, had a rough upbringing. Maybe you saw your parents divorce and there was like a huge foundational shift. You're kind of like, what the heck? My reality is no longer ever gonna be the same. Here's the Knight of Wands in reverse, all right? It causes a lot of protection. It caused you to protect yourself immensely. In the sense where, you, in a way where you're like, never again, never again am I gonna open myself up in that big of a way to get hurt or disrespected, mistreated, okay? Before we proceed with this one, I do wanna cleanse the cards. Oh, we see how much I lit up. Do some sound waves, uh, healing, cleansing. And I'm going to partake in some peace and serenity. This seems rough, right? This is a rough start. For some of you, this could be the far past. I'm getting the sense that this is more far, far past, okay? 
but it does feel foundational. It feels like something that maybe you can sometimes fall into, perhaps. Maybe this is representing the Pluto in Capricorn, you know? Let's get some more clarification. I think we're gonna have to do Let's do the tuck, tuck, tuck for these. This one, this was upside down. <laughs> but this was the first one that came up. All right, this is the Empress in reverse. Then we got the Hierophant in reverse. All right, this does feel like it could have been a partner of yours. Someone could have betrayed you, you know, cheated on you. And you gave them everything. You know, this could have been something, someone you had a child with. Um, you know, you thought that they were the hair fit to you and you were the empress. You know, obviously, not obviously, but this empress energy, he's not showing up as the emperor, even when it probably was in the upright position. He's showing up as the hair fit. So that's something to take note of as well. You are you were coming into the relationship with Empress energy. And maybe you thought he was your emperor, but he was really the hairpin, which is still, you know, that's that's still a royal card. Okay? But it being reversed is telling us that this was not a good fit. This was not a good match to begin with. And especially if he, you know, backstabbed you, did stuff behind your back, causing your entire foundation to kind of crumble, which then resulting in you protecting yourself, it, it makes sense, you know? Anybody I think who would be going through this would react in a similar way. Okay. The last clarification is the temperance. Hmm. This does feel like someone that you might have had a child with. Or if it's not an actual child, um, for any of you those, or for any males as well, um, it could be something that you guys both really invested in. Like maybe you were working on a project together, you know, and, and it was like this project that you saw, you know, creating abundance. Maybe it was a house that you both invested in, you know? Maybe it was the marriage. Maybe it was the marriage, you know? Let's do some thuck, thuck, thuck. I think we need to, we need to, we need to really uncover this a little bit more. Oh, five of Wands, lots of fighting. There was lots of fighting, lots of fighting. Six of Wands, upright. So it looks like the relationship could have felt bipolar. Sometimes it was a lot of fighting. Other times it was a lot of giving, a lot of giving. And so it made you feel like, well, this is okay. This is normal because just as much as there's toxicity, I feel like there's abundance. But really at the end of the day, this high priestess in reverse right here, is showing you that you weren't able to be, you weren't tapping into your highest self. You know, you weren't, you weren't the best version that you could be with this because of, you know, the blindfolds, because of all of that. All right, Spirit, thank you for this situation um, coming to light. We don't want to press too much on it. Let's. Let's start asking some more questions. How did one, how did one proceed and how can one continue to, um, what is in, what is in what we don't see coming? What is in what we don't see coming? 
what is also perhaps present day. Because this, oh my god. Alright, so this one is the last card. We have the Four of Wands, Eight of Wands, mm, Ten of Cups. You had to rebuild from the ground up. You, you know, Four of Wands is, you still had your family, you still had stability, you still had people on your corner, on every corner, helping you along the way because they were also like, what the F did you just endure, right? There were still people there. Maybe it's not, you know, your actual family, it could be your soul family, your friends, it could be, you know, Daddy Gov, the government. Making you have helping out those food stamps, okay? But you did have to rebuild from the ground up to then accomplish a ten of cups. You still had the end goal in mind, this ten of cups, which is like that family, you know, that mansion, the kids playing in the backyard, you know, you being able to balance everything, the perfect partner, right? It looks like you found someone. It looks like. You're either in a current relationship with this person where it, they helped fulfill your cup. They helped fill up all ten of your cups, right? They took on half of, the, half of the work and you took on the other half of the work. Five and five, right? And before that, you still, you were, build, you were rebuilding yourself with these eight of wands and this four of wands. Four and eight, you know? Like, those are even numbers. You entered a relationship where it was equal you were like all right i'll give you two he gave you two she gave you two they gave you two you you put in two you got out two you put in four they put out four they're giving you four then you guys made it to that ten of cups all right then you're, you're met with the judgment card in reverse ace of pentacles upright then ten of swords Justice card in reverse, Eight of Pentacles in reverse, Knight of Cups. It isn't always easy once you find, once you reach the, once you reach that Ten of Cups, you know, that bliss, right? The last clarif carrying, clarif clarification card is the Three of Wands. Don't forget how to rebuild. Don't forget how to rebuild anything, right? We sometimes make it to this Ten of Cups. We find, sometimes we make it to like our dream job our dream situation, our dream partner, and then we think, cool, I'm never going to feel bad again, you know? Like, I'm here. Like, sometimes Pluto changes into Aquarius, and then everyone's like, oh, great, all my problems are going to disappear because Pluto's going to be in Aquarius. And it's like, hmm, not necessarily, okay? If you don't keep up with your own discernment, then it can easily go against your favor. You know, Judgment Day is still happening right looks like for some of you Aquarians out there this could be in work as well um, it's hard to keep up with finances these days you know maybe you lost your job recently maybe someone you know dishonored you they really hurt you and it's causing like some differences in your in your wealth, right? Maybe the person like you ended up with, maybe it was hard to get along with their family, right? Maybe there was a little bit of tension there. This could be with a friend, right? A family member. Maybe it's not so many sunshines and rainbows as you had once saw, but you're okay with it. You're okay with it with this three of wands you understand that it takes it takes tenacity and it takes rebuilding every step of the way uh we also have this justice in reverse eight of pentacles in reverse and knight of cups in reverse and i think with all the reversal cards as well like by the end of the week by the end of the month by the end of the year they will all be in the upright position right if this is how you're feeling right now, if you're feeling like life isn't fair, your money, your finances are not where you want them to be, you know, like, you're spending all your resources, you need to protect 
You need to be super frugal, more frugal than you want to be. You'd rather be like, you know, on the beach, enjoying a margarita, but really right now, <laughs> all you got is that boxed wine, you know? Just know that they're not gonna be in reverse forever. They're not gonna be reverse in forever. And that sometimes we do have to rebuild with this, with this three of wands. We definitely have to rebuild and keep rebuilding. But the good thing is that um, you still have your Ten of Cups here in this upright corner. This isn't going away. This, this, this isn't going away. This is staying in the future. This is staying in the current moment slash future. Like it's still setting the precedence. It's completely different than this Two of Swords over here on the left side corner. Completely different. Like they're opposites. The Two of Swords and then the Ten of Cups. Very beautiful stuff. A huge progress, like immense progress. A lot of hard work. A lot of hard work I feel from here. A lot of hard work. All right, let's continue with the Canopus metaphysical oracle deck. <laughs> this, these messages are also for people who do not partake in rare Joanna. Okay, they have wonderful messages to give for everyone involved. Um, I absolutely love them. This is the first deck I was ever drawn to and I knew I needed it the moment I saw it. The moment I started reading, well, I didn't even get turned off by it, right? I didn't even like, I didn't even have any judgment towards it. And then I started reading the messages and I was like, yeah, this is for me. So I want it to be for you too. Let's do some sound wave healing with it. I'm gonna shuffle it a little differently because we have been pulling a lot of the same cards. That's not, there's nothing wrong with that. It's the message is that every collective needs to hear once or twice or thrice. Um, I'm gonna do one more, one more. All right, freedom, right, right, freedom, 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 Aquarius Collective, right, 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 okay, number 20, right, yeah, okay, it says, right allows you to merge with the innocence that surrounds you. Every new encounter is an experience that brings the potential to restore the unshakable faith you held as a child. When freedom was never an afterthought. Whoa! My light just turned off. That's interesting. Okay. Freedom was never an afterthought. Vrai dances freely under a disco ball on the dance floor, uninhibited because she believes in the spirit of things happening for the highest good. Here is the freedom to trust yourself before someone makes you doubt yourself. The past cannot be changed, so she dances in the present while creating her future with a smile on her face. The dog dances beside her as a symbol of protection. Vrai holds a cannabis leaf in one hand, which represents her open heart and innocence. From her other hand, a streaming pillar of light emerges like a wand. This card arrives when the veil begins to lift and your biocomputer begins to deprogram with the cannabis plant spirit's guidance. If you receive Vrai in a reading, ask yourself, 
what's the best thing that can happen today? How does it get any better than this? Am I afraid to ask for what I want because of the risk of rejection and denial? Release fear and believe your higher, higher self. The higher plant spirit is guiding you not to not fail. The higher plant spirit is guiding you not to fail. Thank you, Bri. Thank you, Bri. Thank you, Bri. Thank you, Bri. Freedom. No fear. No fear. All right, storybook Pokemon collection. It's time for everybody's getting a Pokemon. Everybody's getting Pokemon. Everybody, everybody's getting a Pokemon. And because I bought this book for my son, and he really likes to point to everyone and ask me what it is, even if he knows what it is too. You know, even though he, he, and sometimes he does. Sometimes he's like, "No, that's Pikachu." <laughs> I'm like, okay, but everybody gets one. Everybody gets one. Okay, so here we go. What is Aquarius's Pokemon of the day? No? Well, this one doesn't say specific Pokemon, but this is what it says. From tiny Flabebe to towering Alolan Exeguter, from, and from pocket-sized Pikachu to enormous whale lord Pokemon around the world come to come in all sizes and shapes. Set out on your own journey across Kantu, Jotu, Koen, Sino, Unova, Kalos, Alola, and beyond to discover them all for yourself. Wow, looks like you got a, a collective of Pokemon, of Pokemon, Pokemon, Pokemon. <laughs> this again, this feels like it's resonating with like Pluto being collectively changing into Aquarius. It's saying discover it for yourself. Discover it for yourself. Travel to all of these places. Journey across numerous places to discover them. All the different type of Pokemon for yourself. Thank you so much, 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 much.